over my morning coffee, I want to give you the quick story about how Mary and I took an online connection to an offline connection. At any given point, Mary and I are 30 minutes apart, but it took a really powerful online interaction for us to actually connect. One day I was checking my website statistics and I noticed a referral from an alt MBA essay. So I was really curious, so I popped over, read the essay, and I was wondering, who is this person who's pouring her soul out online and how in the world do I connect here? Well, it turns out she had been following my work and was debating whether or not to contact me for coaching. Well, I was just sensing her desire to connect through that writing and I reached out to her. I figured out how we had met at a speaking engagement and said, hey, calm down, let's just go get some coffee. So we did that. We took all those words that she was sharing online, all those vulnerabilities she put out there, and we turned it into a face-to-face -face interaction. How often are you putting your vulnerability, your true self online, when you could also be having that same kind of interaction with a real human being offline? I think those lines are getting blurred more and more every day. A lot of it has to do with the fact that most people don't live 30 minutes apart like Mary and I do, so you need it for the connection. But how often are you using that as a replacement for what could be an actual conversation with an actual human being? Think about that this week. How often are you putting that online comment? How often are you doing something digitally that could also be handled through a phone call or through a coffee meeting? Try it out this week. See how you can actually connect with a human, how you can take that off online communication and turn that into an offline communication. Good luck to you as you try to pull the cord from the digital and get real with people. As always, make it a great week, and I'll see you back here next week.